Our top story tonight, NTSB investigators are still trying to figure out what caused that Friday's deadly air crash show in Nevada. They have now identified some of the parts of the plane's tail. Photographers indicate that part of the tail may have fallen off between the plane when it hit the ground. The crash killed nine people, including the pilot, Jimmy, Jimmy Leeward. And tonight, 10 on your sides, Ann McNamara spoke to a Virginia Beach man who knew the pilot personally. Ann. Alvita, the president of the Military Aviation Museum right here in Virginia Beach, new pilot Jimmy Leeward, and he knows that World War II plane pretty well. And tonight, Gerald Yeagan explains what he thinks might have gone wrong, and he does it by pointing out unusual circumstances in that crash video. <laughs> The horrifying moments after a P-51 Mustang airplane crashed near the grandstand at the Reno Air Show. Investigators say the pilot, Jimmy Leeward, died on impact. I met him several times at air shows and I've been to his house. Gerald Yeagan is the president of the Military Aviation Museum here in Virginia Beach. A friend of Leeward's, Yeagan says the pilot always liked to talk shop. We both loved uh, World War II airplanes and we would exchange parts, suggestions, and things like that. Not only does Yegan have a personal connection to the pilot, he also has one to the plane. This is the P-51 Yegan's been flying for the last eight years. Yegan says Leeward flew a modified version of this same P-51, and knowing the aircraft well, Yegan points out what he noticed was missing in the video. For some reason, you can't see the pilot in the, through the canopy. It's a clear glass canopy, so you normally would see the pilot. The video shows the nose of the plane pitch up. Yegan says it's a sign. Leeward knew he was in trouble. A former flight surgeon says that maneuver could be the reason you can't see Leeward in the cockpit. When they experience such a rapid force on their body, their heart can't pump blood up to the brain. So people lose consciousness, lose the ability to control the airplane. The other thing that stood out to Yegan, a piece of the plane's tail missing. And this is a trim control. Now it also has trims for the rudder and it also has trims for the aileron. But this is the one that they feel broke away. This is that same piece in the back of Yagen's plane. He says he's not sure if losing it would be enough to send this plane spinning out of control. Yegan also saying tonight in that aviation community, a tight-knit one, many people are wondering if that crash will be the permanent end of the Reno show. Still no word on that yet. And by the way, closer to home, there are several air shows coming up right here in Hampton Roads. The annual Naval, Naval Air Station Oceana Air Show kicks off this Friday, and the Military Aviation Museum in Virginia Beach will host their World War I air show Octo October 7th through the 9th. Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.